many people don't know about the warfare that's going on right now in the Ukraine because you see uh, the, the Russian army has lost hundreds of tanks within two months of invading Ukraine. They had something like 2,000 tanks. They've lost around 680 tanks and they're going to be losing more because their their battle tank is being attacked by um, these uh, missiles, these uh, drones. You have the switchblade anti-tank drone. You have the various uh, 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 the various shells that come down on the top of the of the tank where it's most vulnerable. And some of these tanks have actually been abandoned. They run out of fuel. They have this uh, logistical failure. Some get stuck in the springtime mud because they invaded the wrong time of year. And uh, the drones and the uh, the uh, various um, missiles are taking those tanks out. The Javelin and uh, the switchblade, anti-tank drone, etc. Well, in the same way, we have to put on the whole armor of God ourselves. We have to put on the shield of faith to absorb the fiery darts of the devil, the helmet of salvation, the good news shoes, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness. We are also involved in a war. And we also have to put on the whole armor of God. And uh, one thing you may not realize is that when a manslayer was in exile, uh, when the death of the Kohen Gadol happened, the blood guilt was taken away, especially uh, we're talking about how the Cohen becomes like a substitute for the inadvertent killer. It's almost as if the priest bore and carried the blood guilt away when he died. We're talking about the Cohen Le'alam of Diverti Melchizedek. We're talking about Moshiach ben Dovid. We're talking about Moshiach ben Dovid hanging on the tree, Second Samuel. Shmuel base chapter 18. This terrible rebellion that was going on. Until this rebellion came to an end, there would be no shalom, no peace. And therefore the Mavaser, the, the runner, the messenger, couldn't run with the message of peace until the Ben Dovid was pierced and hanging on the tree, as it says, Musar Shalomenu Alav, the chastisement that brought us peace was upon him. He dies and we have peace. This is the glorious aspect of the good news. This is the Basuras Hage Ola, the good news of redemption. When Isaiah is looking at the Basuras Hage Ola, especially in terms of the Ben Dovid, 
he sees various Ben Dovids, and each one of them shines a certain light on the ultimate Ben Dovid. Whether it's a Ben Dovid who is struck with leprosy because he is somehow uh, in the place where he's not supposed to be with the Kohanim, or someone like Hezekiah, whose days are extended 15 years. It says after his time in the Kever, Hashem will prolong his days. In the, in, the, in, the, in the Dead Sea Scrolls, it says he will see the light of life. And it says that uh, Hashem will be satisfied. And uh, the Moshiach will be like the ram, a substitute for Yitzhak. Phoenix army, Eretz Hayimi, Peshaw, me. He was cut off from the land of the living for the transgression of my people. And so, when you come to uh, the Basuras Hagel you have you have to see who Ben Dovid is. Shalom through the Kapora blood of the boim, the tree. Hallelujah. For us, the tree where Ben David is pierced and hanging in Shmuel base 18 becomes the Etz Chaim, the tree of life, because there's an exchange. We thought he was, he was cursed of God. But it was our transgressions that he took so that we could have his peace. He is the Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. And there's no peace for the wicked. And there's no peace apart from him. And there's no hope of Chaye Olam without him. And we need to understand Ribi, Melik, Hamoshiach and the Kapora blood of the boim of the tree. When Absalom bin David was bleeding and pierced on the tree, hanging suspended between heaven and earth. The Mavaser could run with the the peace, the 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 Basora uh, Hatova, the good news. There was peace in the land. The rebellion was over, and we have peace. Because although a rebellion started in Gan Eden, which affected all of humanity, so that every Ben Adam, Ben Adam, is born a rebel. When we have the new birth, there is an internal change. We are given a new heart, a Lev Hadash. And in our new heart, there is a meekness. We become like a little child. The rebellion is gone. Behold, all things have become new. And he warns, unless you turn and become like a little child, become teachable, and, and become like a little meek, teachable, child who looks up way way up and sees someone that he must listen to and learn from and that teachability enters the heart that meekness 
that humility, that peace, that newness. This is the glorious thing. And we have seen this over and over again. Even hardened evil felons and criminals suddenly becoming meek, sweet, trustworthy children and students, actually disciples, learners with a teacher. And this is the glorious thing. This is the Basura Sagayola. This is the truth which will set you free. This is the peace that passes all understanding. This is joy unspeakable and full of glory. And this is the season of Pesach and resurrection, where the middle matzah is broken, wrapped in a takrahim like napkin, and put away and hidden, and then reappears later and is received. And there is joy, and there is glorious deliverance. And the angel of death skips the house because the blood of the lamb is on the exits and the people can go go forth freely and in peace. And oh God, we thank you for Pesach. And we ask you, Lord, that this Friday, all over the world, at Jewish tables, and also wherever people come, who love the Jews and love Israel, there will be a peace that passes all understanding. Moshiach ben David, come into, come into my heart, forgive my sins, be my lamb, get me out of Egypt, get me out of bondage and out of judgment, and I'll give you all the praise.